If you were to tell me that a Bad Boys movie coming out in January was actually good, I'd laugh in your face. But hey, here we are. He can't even stop now. Shit, Mike. These are like HD. This bad boy flies. We ain't gonna win. So Bad Boys for Life is the third installment of the Bad Boys trilogy, or I guess now it's a franchise. And Bad Boys for Life comes out 17 years after Bad Boys 2, which came out in 2003, to which, good god, 17 years. Just to give you guys how big of a time gap that is, I was 11 when Bad Boys 2 came out, and now I'm 27. Where the did the time go? But anyways, getting back on point, in Bad Boys for Life, we once again follow Marcus and Mike, played by Will Smith and Mara Lawrence, two cops who, as you could have probably guessed, are starting to pretty much go past their prime at this point. Though after a certain person has started to kill off certain people, Mike and Marcus are on the case to find out what in the hell was going on. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Bad Boys for Life. Despite what I said in my intro, I was actually kind of looking forward to Bad Boys for Life. And yes, even though that January is seen as pretty much the dumping ground for nearly all bad films, let's face it. But from my past experience, I have seen that from mid-January to late January, that there have been some pretty decent to some actually good films to come out. And I cannot believe I'm about to say this, guys, but man... I really enjoyed Bad Boys for Life, like, I enjoyed the shit out of this movie. First of all, when it comes to the performances, Will Smith and Mara Lawrence just, they absolutely crush in this movie, and despite the 17 year gap between Bad Boys 2 and Bad Boys for Life, their chemistry and their comedic banter is still on point. One thing I gotta add to this as well is that, yes, while Will Smith is undoubtedly the bigger movie star than Mara Lawrence, Mara Lawrence in this film had me cracking up during multiple scenes. One scene that involved a baby to which had me, oh my god, this scene had everyone including me just dying with laughter. But not just that, but there were just many scenes throughout this entire film that Martin Lawrence will have a line that just comes out out of nowhere that just had me cracking up harder than I expected. And one person that I feel like is not getting nearly enough credit for how good they were in this movie, especially by how funny they were, was Joe Pantoliano as the police chief, because <laughs> he has more than a few scenes that I feel like even stole the show from Will Smith. I mean, I guarantee you guys saw the part in the trailer when he does this. Fuck me! Fuck! 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 But other than that scene, he has so many more scenes that just really had me cracking up. Before I go on, if you guys want to hear my quick thoughts on the first two Bad Boys films, I really like the first Bad Boys film. It's a fun and energetic buddy cop movie that has some really funny moments. Bad Boys 2, I... Not too big of a fan of. I mean, there's some really cool scenes, especially that highway chase. I mean, holy crap, that scene is awesome. But really, other than that, I'm not really a big fan of Bad Boys 2. And part of the reason why I was also looking forward to Bad Boys for Life was that even though Bad Boys is Michael Bay's baby since he directed the first two films, is that Bad Boys for Life was directed by two different people, and to which I thought was a very welcome change. Now, don't get me wrong, I do feel like that Michael Bay style does fit with Bad Boys since that Michael Bay is very high octane, kinetic, and very energetic with the style, especially when it came to the action scenes. But I thought that the two new directors, to which I don't remember their names, I know they're Belgian directors, I'll put their names right here. But something that I really did appreciate was that even though these two directors were new, was that I really did like that they did still keep a few bits of Michael Bay style, specifically with how he composed his shots, with the octane style of the action scenes. I still did think that these new directors brought their own style to the action sequences while still keeping a little bit of Michael Bay style in there. They actually had a bit more of a restraint than Michael Bay did because if you have seen the original Bad Boys films, Michael Bay just in general puts in a lot of explosions if you've seen his films. And one thing that I particularly was not expecting was that Bad Boys for Life actually had some emotion and heart. More than a few scenes that in which they really did play to the emotion and some of these scenes hit me harder than I expected. Like one in particular, I was just like, a Bad Boys movie actually getting to me? What is 
what's this? Especially when it comes to the fact that, as you all know, when it comes to Mike and Marcus's characters, that they are, of course, getting older. And I really like that they address the fact that, hey, these guys are obviously not in their prime ages, that if they do something more with their action, they're most likely going to get killed. And it really did hit some stuff home for me. And the other thing that I really liked about Bad Boys for Life as well was that this movie's villain was actually a good villain. Now sure, yes, this villain isn't the greatest villain out there, but if I were to compare this villain to the previous two Bad Boys movies villains, this one easily stands out. That all being said, does this movie still have flaws? Of course it does. First of all, when it comes to the action sequences, while the action sequences were really well done, nothing was really shaky like Michael Bay would probably do, but there was no particular action sequence in this film that was really memorable. Now, again, they were really entertaining, really well shot. It was really, really fun to watch with the action sequences, but nothing really stood out as memorable from the action in this movie. One thing that I particularly did not like about Bad Boys for Life, especially, was that when it came to the storyline of this movie, there was one part in which the story takes a certain turn, and the turn, I feel like, just didn't feel like it fit with what happened, especially with the previous two Bad Boys films as well. Like, it just, I feel like that it came completely out of left field, and instead of making me go, what? It made me think this instead. What? And there was one particular character decision, and when I saw this decision happening, I just thought, what? They would not do that at all. And when it comes to the movie's ending, this is what I will say without giving spoilers. How they end the movie, I wish they didn't end it the way it did. Like, I wish they ended it at this certain scene without going to a different scene. So overall, I went into Bad Boys for Life not really expecting anything, especially given the fact that it's a January film, but I walked out enjoying the hell out of it. Bad Boys for Life was entertaining, it was action-packed, and it was also really funny, and unexpectedly, there were some parts that it had some heart to it. Now, are there flaws? Undoubtedly, yes, but other than that, I had a really good time with Bad Boys for Life, so all in all, I'm going to give Bad Boys for Life a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The more I think about it, I may have enjoyed this movie more than the original. I don't know, but I would think about it. But other than that, I really enjoyed Bad Boys for Life. Alrighty, guys, so comment down and let me know below. Have you all seen Bad Boys for Life? If not, are you looking forward to this movie? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat and Stardust. So if you want to follow me on any of those social media platforms, all the links and usernames are in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed my review of Bad Boys for Life. If so, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video of mine goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click either right there or there. And of course, until my next video or review, I will see you all next time.